Hey students, uh, we are going to do another um, activity where we are inserting a table into a Google Doc. Uh, some of you struggled with that this past um, assignment. So here's what we are going to do. Um, so you have a set of instructions in this week's module, and those instructions, instructions tell you to open the document I've attached and to insert a table. I've even told you that um, in the instructions that you need to insert a table that is three columns by 18 rows large. Well, that's how big the table needs to be. So in Google Docs, you're going to take your mouse and you're going to first go up here to File Setup, File, and Page Setup, which is uh, behind my little name here. Let's see here. And you are going to select landscape. Okay. So now I want you to go to insert table and we're doing three columns. One, two, three, three columns by 18 rows. Actually, it's going to be 19 rows because your first row is going to have your uh, column headers. So in the instructions, I tell you to place the um, headers for your columns as state, the state, and then um, total cases, and seven day cases. Okay. And your column headers should be centered. So to do that, you just put your cursor in the cell, you hold down your mouse, and you drag across, and you click Center, Center Alignment, okay? So now, the first state that I am choosing, so the instructions say that you need to choose um, a list certain letters, that states begin with, and you have to choose two states that begin with A, that two states that begin with C, um, two states that begin with M, two states that begin with N. Um, so those are listed, the letters that you need to choose the states from. So first is Alabama, and the next state is Arkansas. Okay, so all states in the country, all states begin with a capital letter. So your, all your states down through here should have capital letters. Okay, so total cases. So in the instructions, I show you that there is a link that I want you to go to. And at this link is where you're going to get all your information. So when you go to this link, you are going to come to this page here, CDC COVID Data Tra Tracker, okay? So we are going to scroll down, and I want you to find the map, okay? So the first two states I chose were Alabama and Arkansas, okay? So the number I'm looking for is total cases. So when you hover over a state, this little box comes up, and the... Let's see, one, two, three, four are the, on this little box that comes up, it says total cases. Okay. And so, total cases for Alabama is 267.589. 267.589. Two sixty-seven, five eighty-nine. Okay, and then total seven-day cases is to find that number. You can either it's listed on this little pop-up, or you can go down here to this page, and this says sixty-six. Okay, so you're looking for the total of cases that's listed here and last seven days. 
66. That's our next number we're looking for. Okay, 66. Let's do that again for Arkansas so you can understand what I'm doing. So the link is going to take you to this page. And so total cases is 169, 382. 169, 382. And cases in the last seven days is 68.1, 68.1. Okay, so you're going to continue to do that all the way down through all 18 states. Okay, this top header row, these are your headers for your columns. You're going to change the color of this particular row so that you can um, show that it is different uh, from the others. So you're gonna go up here to background color and you're gonna choose one of these grays, dark gray, whatever. Uh, choose one of those, okay? And let's make these headers bold. Okay, all right. So you're going to go down through here and you're going to list that information. Okay, and it looks like our page is a little short because you want all this information to show on one page. So let's, um, you will need to go up here to your page setup again. And you are going to make your bottom margin five and that'll help you get everything on one page okay again that was up here to file page setup your bottom margin 0.5 okay all right so when you are done you should have this table with all of your states and their information you will need to label this table um, COVID 19 numbers week 17 at MMS for Murphy Middle School. Okay, you can make this, um, you can change this to bold, you can change, make it a larger font, just make sure your table is all on one page. Okay, and Your columns for total cases and seven day cases, after you get your information in there, I want you to go back and I want you to highlight both columns and all the information and I want you to center that information, okay? Because we're gonna do some other activities with this same document, okay? But for now, that's, that's what I want you to do and submit that to me and that is all for this week's assignment, um, collecting data and putting that into a table in Google Docs. Thank you very much.